Do you think you've mastered pediatrics? Let's put your knowledge to the test. Which of the following is not typically classified as a cyanotic congenital heart disease? I'm gonna close now with a trick which will help you try to remember the types of cyanotic heart disease, and it's easy if you just use your hand. So remember, there are five types, and I remember them like this. One, two, three, four, five. I'll go through them one at a time. One is truncus, and you can see my thumb is a trunk coming off the main mixing of the right and left ventricle. Next is transposition, and you can see I've taken my two great vessels and I've mixed them together. Next is tricuspid atresia. Next is tetralogy of Fallot. And the last one is totally anomalous pulmonary venous return. So that's a good trick to try and remember the five types of cyanotic heart disease. That's very likely to show up on your test. Also, remember those four findings in the tetralogy of Fallot.